Aloha Aina. I'm Ehu Ke Kahu Cardwell with the Kowani Foundation, right here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Well, congratulations to all of you for a job well done. Because you let the Hawaii legislature know you didn't want the ceded lands bill, not only does that look dead, but the legislature actually went one step further. They took the bill the Office of Hawaiian Affairs sent to them for pay raises, removed the wording about the OHA raises, and replaced them with a call for a forensic audit of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Finally, it's no secret that OHA is completely out of control. As we've said before, the ceded lands bill is actually connected to the Akaka bill. How? Here's what OHA trustee Walter Heen said recently. He said the part that pleases me the most is getting lands under OHA's ownership which can produce income for the formation of a government in the future. So let's see here. Ceded land settlement, plus their limited liability corporation, Hi'ile, plus the Akaka bill equals OHA becoming the native Hawaiian governing entity. See, it's time we have the Office of Hawaiian Affairs audit answer some questions. Like how much trust money has really been spent on the Akaka bill? How much of your trust money has been spent on Kauinoa? And how much of your trust money has been transferred to that limited liability corporation? How much trust money has been spent on ceded land settlement propaganda? These are all legitimate questions you deserve to know the answers to. The time has come for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs lies, sweetheart deals, and cover-ups to stop once and for all. OHAD needs to start telling the truth. I'm Ehu Ke Kahu Cardwell with the Kowani Foundation, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.